In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do a jump, transition, and Instagram Reels. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Wonderful Lida, a digital course video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. I teach video production to service providers that they can film once to teach many. If you have a course idea and want to learn how to film yourself, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have new videos out every Wednesday. We're gonna start by filming the jump. So to fill the jump, it's best not to have to hold down the button because holding down the button and jumping is a little complicated. So instead, we're gonna use our stopwatch. Our stopwatch is down here on the bottom menu. So I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna give me a couple countdown options. So if I click three seconds, I have 10 seconds available as well. So you can see the countdown right here. I'm gonna go back to three seconds. You might wanna use 10 seconds if you have a long distance to go to, but for the most part, three seconds is good if you're close to the camera. So I'm gonna click set timer. You can see that the timer is set because the icon turns white. So you can see here there's a white border around that timer. That means the timer is on. So now I just have to press the record button and I can start recording. So my timer, set my spot, and I'm gonna do my jump. Whew. If you don't start right away, it's okay. Just do it when you're ready. There we go. Now we're gonna go and preview that clip. So you're gonna see that clip right here on the bottom. You're gonna press that back button. You're gonna see the entire clip. You have a couple options for how to edit this clip. You can see the first one is delete. So you can throw it out. The second one is scissors. This allows you to trim the beginning and the end of the clip. So let's click on those scissors. So you have here a white line on both ends. These lines will allow you to go in and trim. So let's say here, and I'm just gonna trim it to my jump. When you're filming transitions, you want your cuts, so where you're gonna change from one to the other, where you're gonna trim to, to be on the action. So you can see here, this isn't showing enough action. I'm gonna trim this to right before I start going down. And then press trim on the bottom and it saves it. And then we're gonna go done. Now there's a new button that showed up and that's down here. It is called align. This allows you to see where your clip was last time. And then so you can line yourself up from one shot to the other. It's also good to add an indicator on the floor so that you know your distance, so you can always easily go back to the same spot because your camera doesn't move. So I'm gonna add the timer once again, so I'm gonna click on that timer. Let's set the timer. And, ooh, I almost forgot. So because in the last shot I had the blazer on, I'm gonna wanna do something a little bit different for this shot. So I'm just gonna take the blazer off you're probably gonna wanna do a bigger change. So things that you can change, you can change your clothing. You can also do a change of your location and then that would add for it the transition. So I'm just going to have the blazer off. So I have my timer set, I'm in my spot and I'm gonna record another jump. <laughs> jump again, yeah. Cause we're gonna do one more jump. So let's see that. So let's click that back button and then you see the clips. Now we can click the scissors to trim this. So I'm gonna pull the beginning. So you see I'm going up and I'm gonna transition it to going down. And then the second one, I'm gonna make sure I'm going up. Before I start going down, I'm gonna trim it. So now I can press done and then preview and I can see what they both look like. What is happening here? It looks off because I do a second jump later. That's why it doesn't really all match together. So I'm gonna film my second jump. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna press my timer again. So my timer is down here. This time I'm gonna give myself a little bit more time because I wanna back up for this shot. So it's from three to 10 seconds. I set my timer, so I press set timer. This is gonna also work with distance. So if you wanna transition distance, it can work. So if you film a jump in one spot and then you film another one somewhere else, it's gonna be easy to put those together. So I have my timer. I'm going to 
move as far back whoop, as possible. Drop my light. There we go, got that clip. So you saw my jump. Now I'm gonna go back by clicking on the back button and the scissors to trim this. And I'm just gonna move the beginning, trim the beginning so as, as I'm going down and end it there. So let's preview that. So you can see that you can easily move between your frame with a jump. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up or better yet, leave me a comment below. I have new videos out each and every Wednesday. Until next time, peace.